The DA Phillip A. Conley Awards uh, competition is all about food service excellence. It's about being the very best in all areas. Uh, there are several areas that we inspect and they have to reach high scores in order to be able to be the winners. Uh, we call it the Super Bowl of food service. We have three evaluators. I am the one that check all as a technical person, as a warrant officer. I tech check all paperwork, all administrative procedures. We have Sar Major who will be, he looks at everything from the kitchen prep to how well the workers are doing and measuring. Sanitation, sanitation is always key uh, because it's all about food protection. Dr. Beach that's along with our team, he really gets into the fine science and art of everything from, from the facility, the structure, um, pest management, how everything is done. They gotta be, they gotta jail as a team. Um, they gotta listen to their leaders and they gotta execute. It all boils down to just doing it right on that one day. You can do it right every other day, but you can't mess up on today. You gotta do everything, uh, we look at the whole operation. So there's no one thing that can beat you if you, it's gotta be like a kind of like a total. Either you, you, everybody's doing everything well or you, you probably won't win at this level. While we're watching them, we have a, a list of uh, 10 primary areas that we're concerned about and we kind of specialize in certain areas. Uh, the safety is very important, both their work safety as well as food sanitation. And today is a great example. Uh, one of their uh, manual wear washing equipment pieces broke down and it has to hit 171 degrees to achieve sanitizing for 30 seconds and they weren't hitting it. They changed it around, changed direction. They were able to hit 171 degrees with another sink. They made the adjustments. That's the type of thing that some people would say, oh no, we're gonna fail. No, they're gonna succeed greatly because they, they had what could be a real problem and they managed to change. That's important to do in this kind of business. This facility, Camp Zama, has placed to be a DA finalist. Currently now there's only like, uh, of the number, we have 12, but it's like six. Six that's in the civilian category and this facility is the civilian category. And then we have six that's in the military. So they are one of six DA finalists that are competing for the coveted uh, Food Service Excellence Awards to say they are the best in the total army. To be a DA finalist, that means you're a winner already. Uh, there's a Quartermaster General's Award that is presented uh, for being a DA finalist and that's coming from our uh, recent uh, 51st Quartermaster General, Brigadier General Gwen Beeman. Um, then there's a coveted trophy that we present to the management team. I've been fortunate to be able to have won several DA finalist uh, awards, but I've been able to win three Conley competitions. And uh, that's something to be said. So I, I feel very honored and proud to be able to come back out as an evaluator. Uh, I was evaluated previously, but it is good to come back out and see that excellence uh, being instilled and shared with others and, and see the pride, because it gives me great pride and I'm very humble and honored to be able to be an evaluator, to come out and uh, look at excellence in our program.